If you're someone who enjoys working with pictures on their computer, you probably have found out by now that the cheapest way to make prints from those pictures on your computer isn't to do it yourself. It's to upload it to one of the online photo services such as Walgreens, Walmart, Snapfish, or many of the other ones. But every once in a while, you're still going to want to print out a, a print at your home on your own home printer. So let's take a look at that. And what we're going to do here is we're going to take a quick look at a thing called the Windows Print Wizard, which really is kind of a nice little feature that's built into Windows XP and also Windows Vista. Now I'm going to show you this little demonstration inside of Vista. Right now, I'm already looking at a folder that has some of the pictures I want to print in it. In particular, I'm going to start off by looking at this picture right here of Jasmine, our dog. And what I'm going to do is first of all click on it to select it. You can see how it's highlighted here. And then I'm going to go up to the print button at the top of the screen and click. It opens up a print window that is specifically called the the print the Windows print wizard. Now, you'll notice here that along the top we have different options for setting the paper size, for setting the quality, for setting the type of paper. What's really cool though is that if you look at down the side of the screen here you actually see different templates that you can use that allow you to take advantage of a letter size peep piece of uh, photo paper and then print multiple prints onto that photo paper. Now in this case I just have one picture selected and you can see that as I click on these different sizes the only picture you see is Jasmine. But let's just say for a minute I want to make multiple pictures of Jasmine. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and choose a little bit higher up here this 5x7 template. You can see one preview picture of her on this 8x7 piece of paper and then, I, then I'm going to come down and choose multiple copies. Let's go ahead and choose two, three, four different copies. Okay, you'll notice that my piece of paper gets populated with additional shots of Jasmine. And I'm down to up to two pages now. If I click forward, I can see the next page, which of course is exactly the same. I click the previous page. So in essence, I have two pages now nicely set up with these four pictures of Jasmine. Just to show you, I'm going to scroll down here to another uh, template. Here's one that makes four three and a half by five inch photos. Click on it. You'll, you'll see that it automatically fills in those four pictures for me. So this is really kind of neat for making multiple pictures on a single letter sized piece of paper because what it does is automatically lays them out for us. Another thing you can do though, if I cancel out of this window, back here in my folder full of pictures, if I hold down the control key with my non-mouse hand, and I'm doing that right now, I can actually go through and I can select multiple pictures. Let me just select a few here. Okay, so I've got these six selected. Now if I go to print, it's going to recognize that I have all of these selected. And you'll notice that if I go down and if I choose a template that shows multiple pictures like this one here, it actually shows me each one of those pictures in a panel on that page. Here's the first page of pictures, Here's the second page. You can see then that all six of my pictures are going to be printed out. The only thing you have to do besides this and besides setting your top options here is click the print button to complete it. And as soon as I click on print, they would start printing. So this is called the Windows Print Wizard. And this feature is also available in Windows XP. With Windows XP, one little side note I'm going to mention to you if I go back out here to my a uh, folder full of pictures is that to get to the print to the print wizard uh, probably the easiest way to do it is to select your pictures as we did before by holding down the control button and clicking on them but then by right clicking on any one of those selected pictures choosing preview to pull up the little preview slideshow and then you'll see a button at the bottom of the screen a little printer button that'll take you into the printer wizard. And in Windows XP, the printer wizard actually is a three-step, I believe it's a three-step process that you actually click on next a few times to work your way through the screens. Okay, so hope you enjoyed that. And uh, again, this is kind of a slick little way to get some decent prints off of your computer onto your printer. 
without wasting a lot of extra paper. Thank you.